guys and girls, Lauren here, and today we are building the up house, or the Macefield house is what I'm calling it, because I looked up some pictures and found out that there's an actual house that a woman, uh, like, named, uh, her last name was Macefield, owned at one time that was pretty much, you know, it seemed the story was pretty close to the up story, so I decided to name it after her and then I watched the movie to kind of get some inspiration for it but this is Carl and Ellie Fredrickson's home as well as Russell who I created in the last part and this is was a lot of fun because it's so colorful it's just very different it's really different it, it fits well surprisingly in the neighborhood but it um it's just so colorful and everything that you wouldn't think so but it's just it's beautiful like it just works really well and it kind of took a, a while to figure out because it doesn't have it has a sloped roof come on off the top it doesn't have like a second story balcony or anything but I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to so I ended up giving the house a second story balcony instead um, it was, you know, supposed to just be the roof, but I just, it didn't fit right. Like, I felt like it kept um, going through the walls or appearing on the side of the house. And then for this part, I'm not really even sure that it's supposed to have a little bit of a bump, uh, you know, a little bump on the outside um, on the back of the house. But I decided that it wouldn't, it would look better to have that than to have it be completely flat on the back. Because I wanted, I didn't want it to be like, a uh, party in the front and nothing in, you know, in the back. So I decided to add that to give it a little bit of its own character. So then when it came to the colors, I pretty much tried to go off of the pictures that I found of the house in the movie. Um, the problem I had with, with that was we didn't really, I don't really have the option to get the colors as close as I would have liked, but it did turn out looking really good and it took me a while to decide on if I wanted which kind of paneling I wanted because it looked like I think it looked like wood paneling in the pictures so I tried to stick with that kind of thing and then of course you know it's the normal um, these houses and these characters they're they're inspiring my houses and the characters that I make they're not I'm gonna none of them are gonna be identical it's just this is where I got the inspiration from and this is what this is what came of that inspiration so and none of it is just like in the movie or you know none of it is exactly as um, as I guess it should be maybe but I felt like it it um, encompassed what I wanted it to by just being kind of quirky and kind of fun and you know just like Ellie was in the movie she's just confident you know she's just like this is me and this is here here I am take it or leave it and I, I liked that and I wanted the house to kind of have that feel to it and then for the interior of the house I did a lot of um, I drew a lot of inspiration from the movie itself when I watched it but then I also kind of thought of like how my grandmother's house is it's got so much I don't know it's got so much history to it just in not necessarily in the walls but in the things that are in the house there's like you know a lot of um, pictures a lot of furniture with stories you know and I wanted this house to be as though they've lived here they're all their married lives and the walls c could tell you you know the pictures and the furniture and everything has a story for itself and tells a story so I pretty much covered everything. It was pretty covered in pictures. It was hard at first because it was using a lot of furniture that I didn't um, normally gravitate to, but I felt like I felt like it did okay in in the, in the use of it. I feel like it worked out. And finding the signature chairs that was from the movie that was a challenge. But I think I think the ones that I chose was probably as close as it was going to get and I did end up um, I did end up really liking it and for the pictures that I took the stills at the end you'll see I put the sims in the house and have them sitting in their chairs reading a book 
and you know just using the house and I really can't wait to do some playing in this house because I feel like I don't know I feel like it really it really came it really came together in a in a really awesome way for stories for your families so whether or not you choose to play Carl and Ellie and Russell doesn't really matter you know because it's got it's it's a great house either way and it's a pretty decent size house I would thought it was going to be much smaller and, you know in the movie you don't really see a whole lot of it um, but when I ended up putting it together it ended up being like a three bedroom three bath three full baths and th the one bedroom I made as a um, a baby's room kind of like in the movie where they kind of made the baby's room but they never really had the baby so um, it's just a kind of memorial, pretty much, to the want the child they wanted. Um, so it kind of just sits there. But it, for your family, it would be a, a great little, because it's a little kid's room. So it's just, I didn't put a lot of things in it because, like I said, they don't have a little toddler or anything. So it wasn't really necessary. I wanted it to be as though they started to prepare, realized they weren't having a kid, and just left it. So... There's that room, and then there's Russell's room. He has his own bathroom, and then there's a bathroom downstairs. The, like, little living area, I decided to kind of put it together like it was made, put together first for Ellie and Carl, and then they had to move some things around to make room for Russell and his things. So I kind of try to make it look like... Um, Ellie just went in and was like, all right, these things have to go up against this wall so that we can make room for a desk, and then we have to find a place for Russell's own chair so he can have his own chair, and even in the dining room, I put a dining, two dining chairs that match, I think, matched the table. Sometimes it's so hard to figure out which ones were actually supposed to go, but anyway, I thought matched the table. I put those two one at the head and one, you know, both at the ends of the table. And then I put a chair that matched the colors, but looked like it was like a temporary chair, like a fold-out chair almost, so that it was kind of like, oh, well, we need another chair, and this was the first thing we could find. We needed another chair for Russell to sit at the table with us. So that's there. And then what would be amazing is if pets come along, you know, because then we could have Doug. We could have Doug, and then have Doug, and then have Doug's all Doug's babies, and it would be amazing. It would be complete. Mm. It would just be so nice. It would actually be the complete family because I feel like without Doug, it's not. That's probably why I chose to keep Ellie because without Doug, it didn't seem right. It didn't seem right at all. So with Ellie, it felt it kind of filled in that spot a little. But how cool would it be to have Doug too? That would be so cool. He'd be like squirrel. Oh gosh, that movie is so good. <sighs> I got it. I got it for. I had. It, I asked for it for Christmas. Uh, uh, for like I don't even know how many years ago, but I watch it all the time. I'm not even gonna lie. But it's good. It's a good movie. It's a feel good movie. Like why wouldn't you watch it? It's just perfect. So I did the windows kind of like in the picture. I can't remember. There is an actual like up house. Not the one, the Macefield one that I was talking about previously. There's a company that actually did one replicating the house, um, in, like as much in inside as outside, and with all the colors and everything. And their windows were the white and pink. I don't remember if the windows were, or the um, movies were, but I thought it was really cute. So I decided to keep it. But those, that is an amazing house. Like, you can actually ha like buy the up house. I don't know if it's it's probably already been purchased at this point, but that's what the thing I was reading was like, you could buy the up house, and I don't know if you just live wherever it was built or what, but then they can also like build you the house. I don't think it can be the, the like up house ex itself, but it can be like the same floor plan. But how cool would that be? I mean, the floor plans, I don't even know. I didn't even follow the floor plan of the house. I did. I did kind of like the first, two, like the first two rooms, like the living room and the hall, but pretty much after that, I just kind of made it up as I went. So I don't know how it was supposed to be, but this is how it ended up being, and I like it so much. I probably already.
already said that a few times. Sorry. But I just can't help it. I don't, I do think that I kind of wish the yard had been a little bit bigger. Um, I liked having, I needed to fi fill these tiny little lots, so I needed to figure out something for it. Um, but I do feel like it needed a little bit more yard, probably for some like gardening and stuff. I think Elliot would probably be into some gardening. But this is the covered walls in photos and everything. And of course, you know, you're going to see a lot of repetitive photos in this house, mostly because I, I was running out. Like, there was, I didn't have any other choice. It was empty wall or some of the same pictures that fit. This is them in their chairs. It's so cute. Oh, I wish they had canes. I need like an elder's pack. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody talking about that, like, on another video. Like, oh, Devin Bump is Bumpkin. His video, oh my gosh, his builds are just, oh. Anyway, he was talking about like an elder pack, you know, and then I was like, that would be so cool because honestly, I would kind of like to have funerals, as morbid as that sounds. I think funerals would be awesome to have. I would just, oh, oops, I kind of put that in the wall. I just, I don't know. I think it's a nice remember, you know, moment for the family. So I think that would be pretty awesome. I don't know if that's playable, by the way, that bed, because of those tables, you might have to do a little bit of moving around but this is the baby's room but anyway I want I want to pack with elder stuff and canes because I loved it I loved them walking with canes I thought that was so cool might have made them a little bit on the slow side but it would be so cool I could oh yeah it would be awesome this is the upstairs patio that wasn't really supposed to be or the upstairs deck I guess see and then I put the back and I thought the back actually had some life to it like this I thought it was really cute it would be better on a bigger lot because then you would have some something to go out there for it pretty much at this point you go out of the house to leave so that's cool too because the house itself has got a lot of life in it but I hope that you guys enjoy this video it is up on the gallery and I will link it down below in the description as well as the family and I don't know. I think I, I think that this little fairy tale neighborhood in Newcrest is really coming together. I've got um, some other plans for uh, a castle type. It's going to be small. It's going to be small. It's going to be on one of these same size lots, these small lots. And then I'm going to start working on some businesses. Probably start with a restaurant and as morbid as this sounds, a cemetery. So I don't know. I've just had this thing about the cemeteries in the past game. I felt like it was so nice that they had that once even once your sins were gone they had a spot but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see the next one and i will see you next time as we continue to play all the games